Hey, it's Jess, and recently I moved into a studio apartment in New York City, and as you may or may not know, a studio in New York is not known for being very spacious, and I had a lot of stuff. So I called my friend Jamie, who owns organizing company Hoarderly, to come and give me a hand. So at Hoarderly, we have a specific 11-step process that we approach any space with, and it starts by uh, touring the space and prioritizing with the client, well, I'm pretty much at critical mass of what I can unpack with the space that I have and the storage solutions that I have right now. Um, as you can see, I am still living in quite the disarray. <laughs> this box is all full of shoes that I just do not have space for. This is all sweaters in here, and this is sweaters in there. What else? My purses and my bags under here, like all of these are just purses. That's more sweaters that don't have a home. We then jump right into it, we fully pull out and sort the space. We really want to start with a blank slate. Before the pull out and sort, we always warn clients that it will get worse before it gets better. So if you're doing this at home, be sure to warn yourself of this to avoid any overwhelm. Seeing all of my clothes laid out in front of me was definitely a little bit stressful. I really felt like I had way too many things. Next, we're gonna edit with the client, decide and keep, toss, donate. This is where we ask a lot of questions. Those are keep. Do you want them with like the summer since? Yeah. That's where you had them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can toss those. Okay. I finally did it, I got rid of one thing. Donate. Keep. Keep, keep. Uh, toss. Or donate, whatever. Yep. Yeah, motto. There you go. Oh, cover. Yeah, easy, easy. Thank you. Okay, so this one falls in the category that I feel like you probably run into a lot, which is I'm never gonna wear it again, but it's sentimental. Memento. Can go like under the bed. Brilliant. Can make a spot. Perfect. Okay. So we ended up categorizing Jess's clothes into her everyday hanging, which was coats, you know, tops, dresses pants and skirts. Under the bed we have her off-season clothes and memento clothing and then in the dresser all of her folded clothes. One of the many joys of living in New York City is having absolutely zero storage space. And in my case, that's not an exaggeration. There is not one closet in this apartment. I needed a storage solution to put all of these clothes in because my current clothing rack was not cutting it. Luckily, modular closets came in to save the day with a system that fit my space perfectly. Living in a studio apartment means that you really need to make every square inch count. So modular closets came up with a system for the entryway too, where I could store my outdoor accessories, shoes, and stuff for the dog. And then Jamie also helped me organize my dresser, which of course doubles as a TV stand. Our biggest tip in the closet is to streamline all of your hangers to slim felt hangers. This is going to save you a ton of space and completely transform the look of your closet just by simply changing out the hangers. We especially had to do this in Jess's closet, really created a streamlined look since her closet is exposed. So at Hoarderly, we have specific folds that we use. We do use the file fold method in drawers, and in Jess's space, we did a lot of tight rolling folds just because she's got some shallow drawers. And then when it comes to sweaters or folds that are going to live on a shelf, you wanna make sure these folds aren't too thick to where they're floppy and you wanna keep stacks as short as possible so that the item is easy to pull out. So to fold a sweater or a sweatshirt or a hoodie for a shelf, you wanna look at the item, lay it flat down, and then you wanna think of a tri-fold, um, but you don't wanna go all, like too tight. Um, so you wanna go in with the left side and then fold the sleeve down, and then in on the right side, fold the sleeve down and then usually just one fold is good depending on the depth of your shelf. And if you're folding a turtleneck, you can just fold the turtleneck in. Same thing with a hoodie. The hoodie can just fold in as well. If you're file folding a sweater or a hoodie or sweatshirt, fold the same way. Look at it face down, try fold and put the sleeves down and then roll up. You could do a tight roll or a try fold depending on how deep your drawer is. For Jess's socks, we ended up doing a roll as well instead of a fold into each other just to save space in the drawer as well. So we're thinking about hanging one of these long shelves that she already has above 
this entryway for her handbags. You can use purse stuffers to stuff your handbags to keep their shape and to keep them standing upright. You can also use acrylic dividers to store your clutches so that they're not falling all over the place and getting damaged. So labeling is key to maintaining the space, especially if you live with other people. So in Jess's space, it's just her and her apartment. So we talked about labeling in some areas and then we ended up not labeling in other areas just because we felt like it was going to be easy for her to maintain even without the labels. Labeling's important to maintaining space. So you not only know where to find something, but you know where to put something back. Labeling really gives each category a specific home. And when it has a home, you're more likely to put it back in that spot. Close your eyes. They're closed. And open. Whose house is this? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Here's your closet. sweaters. I can actually wear the things that have been stacked in bins for yep. three months? Yep. Okay, tell me everything. Okay, so I'll give you a little tour. Um, at the bottom here, we've got mm. your booties. They look so good! And Gosh. as you can see, they're alternated. Yeah. Plus, they're kind of a little bit like front to back. Okay. That way you can fit as many as possible. What do you think, Bart? <laughs> is that exciting? He's like, Mom, this is way too neat for you. Come here. <laughs> All right, so let me walk you through your hanging. Mm -hmm. So everything is facing one direction. Brilliant. And it's kind of going from like heaviest to lightest. I think that's the important thing with the edit is now I look at this and I say, oh, I'm so happy with everything that I have here. These yeah. all bring me joy. Yeah, you see everything you love. Mm -hmm. So your sweaters, we just did by color, um, kind of like darker on the bottom to lighter on top. Are you ready to look up? Okay, I can look. I can yep. look. Here we are. Oh my gosh, this is like a fancy store. I'm obsessed with this. I love uh, the shelf that you already had that we were able to repurpose. It's yes. perfect for the space. It looks like it was designed for it. It, it does, it does. I love those dividers, and they're so pretty. This one will cover those pretty ones from like any dust yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. So this piece that you already had is great because it has storage. We love a a solution with storage and seating. Yes. Uh, so in here we are just storing your hoodies and sweatshirts. These folds are incredible. Like this looks so neat and organized and lovely. Who knew that sweatshirts could look so cute? Okay, so here we have your entryway. All right. Um, new and improved. A little new and improved. We brought in these cute little ceramic dishes. Sure. That way you don't have those items that you had like in the cardboard boxes. A little bit of an upgrade. Out. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> and then inside here, we've got... <sighs> that is so satisfying. <laughs> we've got a bin for your lid rollers. Plenty of room to grow too if you wanted to add another category in the future. Add another dog, more lint. It's great. <laughs> dog. Yeah. These you're grabbing every day, so I put this bin in the middle. Perfect. And then Easy this access. is your umbrellas and just like your safety items. And then here we've got your scarves. Yes. And hats and gloves. <laughs> oh my god, it's very, this is very just gratifying. Good, good. Uh, and then we've got all like your winter boots here. Your Crocs that you're kind of like using every day. Mm -hmm. High Those, fashion. <laughs> the tennis shoes, your rain boots, and then yep. like your winter boots. Yep. So here we have your dresser. And honestly your folds are not that bad. Um, but we did uh, tweak a few minor things mm -hmm. and uh, just neatened up the folds a bit. Okay. It's been a few weeks since Modular Closets installed my closet and Jamie organized it. And when I say game changer, understatement of the year. Huge thanks to Hoarderly for coming in and showing us how to maximize a tiny bit of space. And huge thanks to Modular Closets for finding a system that fits this space so perfectly. I would be lost without these two. Next up, Hoarderly is going to tackle the kitchen, hopefully in an attempt to get me to cook more. We'll see.